I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and welcome to the Craft Corner. For today's video, we're going to be showing how to customize this onesie using three colors of glitter flake, red, white, and silver. Perfect for any patriotic holiday that's coming up. So Memorial Day, 4th of July, or even Veterans Day. For this video, we're gonna be using the Silhouette Cameo and our 9x12 craft press. I'm gonna start by cutting out my designs to heat apply. So once your designs are cut, you're gonna start weeding the excess material away from the carrier. And one tip I usually tell apparel decorators that are doing a lot of weeding is to peel into the cavities of the letter. So you're gonna be peeling from left to right so that all the open areas where there's excess material will pull right out of those cavities creating a lot of less start and stop points while you're weeding. So by doing that, that created a nice easy weed for me with one pull and now all I have to do is go back in to the cavities that are closed off and pull out those extra areas. Right, I'm just going to trim this apart so that I can apply these separately on our onesie. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the next two colors of glitter flake. And now that all my designs are weeded, I can head to the press and apply my transfers. So to start heat printing our onesie, I'm gonna start by laying down this heat printing pillow. We're gonna be printing really close to the seams of the onesie here that are pretty thick, and that's gonna create an uneven surface for us. So this heat printing pillow is going to make this printing area nice and flat for us by sinking these seams down into the pillow and raising this area. So before we apply our transfer, I'm going to double check my pressure and also preheat the garment to release moisture and wrinkles. And I can go ahead and start laying down my transfers. Now you can see I have a little bit of a wrinkle there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten that out so that my transfer doesn't get ruined from that. I'm just gonna lay this down right there about an inch or so from the collar and I typically measure that just by placing two fingers down from the collar and dropping my transfer right below. And I trimmed up each piece of my glitter flake so that I can apply each piece of this design with one hit of the heat press. So all I have to do is just line each piece up I typically just eyeball these whenever I'm applying these. If you wanna make sure you're getting everything accurate for your application, a lot of people tend to use a ruler as well to measure everything out. Just gonna slide my onesie up here so that I have enough room for the last piece of my design. I'm 
Okay, and I'm just gonna grab my cover sheet and then apply it for its full application. Glitter Flake applies at 320 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. And Glitter Flake's a hot peel, so I can go ahead and peel back each carrier. And we have our completed custom onesie for a patriotic holiday. To customize this onesie, it took me roughly eight to 10 minutes. Now, if I really wanted to maximize my profit, I could be doing five to six an hour. Now let's talk about how much it costs to produce for each item that went into creating this look. For the onesie, it cost us $2.23. For each piece of glitter flake, collectively, it took me 68 cents. For my labor and overhead, it was 66 cents, but keep in mind that can vary based off of your business. So all of that together cost me $3.57, and I can sell this for $18. So I'm bringing in a profit of $14.43 just for this onesie. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV, and thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner. Are you looking for more ways to use or make money with your craft cutter? Then check out StallsTV.com where you'll find more how-to videos and tutorials just like the one you've watched.